What I'm going to show today is a critical piece of maintenance, cleaning out the fender liners at a few points where they just collect dust and debris. This is really important to do if you live anywhere northern where they salt and sand the roads, but probably any dusty environment, um, it'd be a good idea to do this. Any environment in general, it's probably not a bad idea to at least check uh, once in a while, but it's really important to keep these cars rust free to clean out the fender liners. So you can see I'm putting uh, some new all seasons on this car, doing a winter tire changeover. So I'm just going to show both the front and the rear where I change it. So yeah, just to say it again, the whole point of this video is really to show this piece of maintenance, which is cleaning out your fender liners and the surrounding areas to try and prevent dirt and debris from building up and causing rust. The way this happens is basically, you know, dirt, rocks, salt, um, sand will stay behind your fender liner, keep the metal panels moist, and that moisture and, you know, salt, sometimes acidic, water, whatever it is, that pressed up against the sheet metal for a long time will cause rust. So cleaning it out is a really great way to prevent this from happening and extends the life of your car. So that's what this video will be showing and let's get on to it. So just to show on the outside of the car, um, this connection point between the quarter panel and the rear bumper, dust and debris collects here, rust forms and from the outside in it rusts out down here towards the rockers as well that's where the water drains so uh, debris collects down there as well and most importantly front fenders right by the mud flaps i mean i hate these mud flaps these are terrible the volkswagen ones they cause scratching and probably promote rust even more but down here is really important to clean and it's it's not a bad idea to clean here either so those are basically the points. Uh, I'm going to go to the other side and uh, show you how I do it. So my video cut out there, but I took off the four screws for the front mud flap and I took the wheel off. There's a few other screw points that are important to note. I'm gonna try and point that out. And yeah, I'm being rough with these screws because I'm probably gonna replace a few. Oh, I didn't need to take that one out, actually. And you can just see the dust flying out, like... If that alone doesn't demonstrate why this is critical to do. I don't know what it is, or what will. So I think that's all the screws. There's a few clips too. And like, this has got a pull on. So you'll also notice there's these um, like little pins and clips. So you almost might have to pull up you're getting some resistance from the front. Um, and yeah, I missed. Last one. So 
first I'm going to show you the fender liner. So you can see it's pretty dirty, but um, this little foam thing holds a lot of dirt and it holds it against the back of the metal fender. So that's no good. That's obviously going to promote rust. You can see here a little bit of dirt buildup. It's not as bad on these plastic fender liners, if I'll be honest, but this is not even in the facelifted gulfs. So I think they know what this actually does in the long run in these climates. But just to look here, so you can sort of see, I mean, this side, not that bad, but there's a little bit of surface rust starting here. So this is a point where I like to put some fluid film or undercoating to try and show up here. Along this edge, I like to undercoat as well, just because this is where dirt sits, and this is usually where rust starts on VWs, but the worst, the worst offender. Um, it's not this, although this also should be cleaned because this can cause uh, rust as well, just because it's holding wet against the fender, but it's not that bad. It's actually dry here, but the worst offender is this foam thing. And I can't remember if this is in the facelifted GTI or not my car but you just look here i mean look at the condition of the rocker i'm going to pressure wash this off too which will probably show some of the surface rust better but if you look at this oh my god look that's brown water and you see it's holding all this dirty dusty salty water against here and it's just keeping that constant stream so it's always wet and it's just totally promoting rust um, so this is gonna be the biggest point where you just want to fluid film and undercoat the fuck out of it pardon my French um, but you definitely really want to clean this and undercoat it a mark four you basically had to clean this every year oftentimes you know if a few leaves or something collect um, serious dirt can collect. I remember on my Mark IV, there was probably dirt collected up to here, solid dirt and dust. Uh, and that was, you know, first cleaning 160,000 kilometers. So, yeah. So, I pressure washed it clean just now, and I just want to show, so you can sort of see where that rust is starting, where all that crap is collecting, but you can see, I mean, it's not a huge difference, because this is not that old a car, but if you have an older dub, there's probably a lot of crap in here that could promote rust. Getting rid of it's a good idea. Agitating, it's a good idea. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just doing a rinse. Um, but here, I mean like, like just look at that. And I'm not doing a perfect job. It's not my car, I'm just trying to get it better. Um, so I hit the main points. I might go back after I shoot this clip. I just don't want it dripping all over me. But like I said, this face, in here, really got a lot of fluid film up there. I think I already showed that. And what I like to do too while I'm here, and I know I'm sloppy, I'm gonna clean some stuff off, but um, all these bolts that you have to take off, like the end link bolts, the um, tie rods, I think, things that come off the steering rack, 
the brake lines, these screws. I like to just coat them every once in a while when I remember. That way, when I actually have to take them apart, I don't hate my life. Sort of one of the benefits of buying a car new. Um, so, yeah, that's the front. I'm going to put it back together and go to the rear. That's because I'm trying to stay out of the shot. So now that we have the rear out, you can really see how much like dust and debris collects on this. And this is wet. If this was dry, you'd even see the difference a lot more because it sort of darkens it up when it's wet. But so the common rust points, you can even see here, there's a little bit of rust beginning. So it's down here and sort of in there. I like to clean this out though because all this dirt and salty, dirty, briny crap that's embedded in this felt liner is going to cause rust. So I'm going to take this out. So the common rust points are here and up here. So to take off this fender liner, which just, you know, you can really see how much it's collected. It's collected a lot of dirt and brine and sand and definitely road salt because our last snow was about a week ago but that was sort of a freak snowstorm that's why i'm putting the summers on um but so first you got to take off this mud flap then there's a few screws here and then a few up here and this sort of slots into this plastic piece and then you can take this plastic piece off can see tons of crap collects in there this doesn't matter because this is plastic but you know the paint scratching sucks it sucks um, but yeah you can see all this crap and it'll be even more evident when it's completely off So that should be it. And look at that. Look at all that crap. That's being held right against the fender liner. So let's sort of see. Like, wow. Look at that. Tell me that's not going to cause rest. You could see the damage or no damage. This is the thing that protects the fuel tank, the fuel neck. That doesn't matter. And see, uh, there's not too much rust up there. On the other side, there actually was a little bit, a little bit of surface, but nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, let's try and take this off now. So you can't even see these screws, but I can look at the dig them out of the dirt. 
So two screws. Okay, not too bad, but definitely a lot of dirt collected up in there. And you can sort of see why it's causing the rust, because it's all collecting there. So I'm gonna pressure wash this out. And I'm gonna pressure wash this out as well. This is disgusting. You can really see, and this is the back side of it. So it had to go all the way through this sort of felt filter kind of material and then get on top, crazy. So yeah, take a look at that difference. Back to a normal black. Again, I'm not doing a perfect job on this car, but that is dramatic. Now this car has not been clean since noon. It's got 160 on it. So that's why. But yeah, so I've also pressure washed in here. I didn't show that on video. It's really difficult to get those kind of things on video without soaking the lens and getting in the way of the shot. But you can see here, that's sort of the rust buildup down there. This is a 2016, again, 160-ish thousand kilometers on it. You can see up here, it's actually looking pretty good, but there is some. Decent bit of surface rust here. I actually noticed there's a lot of dirt buildup behind this uh, fuel neck. So I ran out of storage, but what I was saying is lots of dirt buildup up there. I see a little surface rust around here. Always good to coat these as well, try and get in behind where the threads are, because those can be get, get hard after 10 years. I don't know what the fuck that is. Fresh wash that out. Um, but yeah, again, a little bit of build up here. Other than that, pretty clean. This is the big culprit. So we're going to fluid film that and put it back on, and that's basically going to be the end of the video. So I'm just going to show the minimal undercoating job I did. So I did undercoat down in here. I just put this back on. I'm gonna undercoat these bolts too, just cause I don't want the torch to strip out. I did all along here, up in here, all up here. And again, I got things like um, the hard brake line points where they get removed. Uh, every bolt I expect to have to remove that kind of thing just because I don't want them to round off because they get too rusted and stuff So again, this is not my car I'm doing minimal. I'm not spending all day on this But I am just trying to get it to where you know, it won't degrade and I'm protecting it In a reasonable amount of time. So maybe about 15 minutes per wheel um, But yeah, so that's it and I'm going to put the fender liner back in and yeah. So to wrap up the video, I just wanted to, again, stress the point that this is sort of preventative maintenance. And this advice is coming from experience with other Volkswagens and where they rusted out and 
seeing where dirt and debris collected on those. It's the same on the Mark 7, probably the same on a lot of other Volkswagens, and probably the same on a lot of other cars. So I hope that this helped somebody. I definitely recommend doing this every couple tire changes or every couple years or whatever. But at some interval, it's definitely good to clean this out if you want to keep your car on the road for longer without making it rust out unnecessarily. So I hope this helps somebody and thanks for watching.